Sanditon returned with an exciting episode full of declarations of love and marriage proposals. As the show's final season is coming to its end, certain plotlines complete their course while others continue to sweep us off our feet. In this video, we'll go over this episode's important storylines. Let's start, shall we? Of course, we have to start with Charlotte and Colborn, who avoided each other as much as possible after their passionate kiss. When we thought our protagonist would return to her village to get married, she was in Sanditon again. During a conversation with Georgiana, we learned that she doesn't want to go because she doesn't know how to look Ralph in the face. As luck would have it, Ralph ended up on her door, returning to Sanditon to take his sweet fiancé back to their calm little village that he loves so much. But Charlotte wants to remain in town, creating another excuse to escape a marriage she doesn't desire. Her excuse, this time, is Georgiana's party, where she tries to avoid Colborn to her utmost abilities. But that wasn't possible due to dance rules. She had to dance with Alexander. Otherwise, it wouldn't be proper. During their dance, Alexander managed to compliment her. But this wasn't about how beautiful or good of a kisser she was. He praised her relationship with Augusta and said her counsel would definitely be missed. We're not sure about this because she gave Augusta advice about following one's heart without knowing that Augusta was in love with Edward out of all men. She should have known better because Augusta actually listened to her and decided to run away with Edward. Well, at least this opened up a possibility for Colborn and Charlotte to be together more, as the end of the episode saw Alexander asking her help to find Augusta. And despite Ralph's discomfort, we know damn well our girl will not miss this chance. Overall, this episode was calm for the main characters. The stars of the story this week were Arthur and Lord Harry Montrose. After Harry's confession last week, they needed to have a proper conversation. This happened, on the cliffs, once again, the place for the most romantic scenes of Sanditon. Arthur declared that he, too, shared Harry's love for Grouse. It was truly exhilarating to hear Arthur talk about his sexuality. He never mentioned it before because he didn't have the right words. But now, with Harry's aid, he knows what he feels. The scene was so lovely. They even agreed to go to a cottage in Wales, where they could be out of sight. But Lady Montrose shattered those dreams by persuading his son to abandon his relationship with Arthur because that would ruin their reputation and send him to the gallows. So Harry decided to make things official with Georgiana and asked her to marry him. She accepted because she needed protection from those who claimed a part of her inheritance. But of course, Arthur was devastated. Don't worry. The story was not only about bad things happening to lovers. We also saw the spark between Samuel and Lady Susan growing. When Lady Susan said she had nothing to do in Sanditon, Samuel immediately took the matter into his hand. He arranged a carriage race for both of them, because Lady Susan had told him earlier that she used to steal her father's carriage and ride it as fast as possible. They had an incredible time together, and although Samuel claims that this is just a friendship, we're sure it will become something much more than that. Lady Denham and Raleigh Price also found love. We're not surprised, as we anticipated this from the start of Mr. Price's first appearance in Sanditon. At first, Lady Denham hesitated to leave her title, but she succumbed to love and accepted Price's proposal. It's nice to see some characters getting a happy ending in the final season. We can't say the same thing for Beatrice and Dr. Fuchs because Mr. Hankins opposes this union for some reason. He doesn't like the doctor due to their ideological differences. Religion versus science. But we believe he will realize how much his sister loves the doctor and give his blessing. We don't want to mention Edward and Augusta because we all know where this is going. Augusta will get hurt. She'll realize that Edward only wants her for her money and nothing else. She'll return to Sanditon. And that's it. We just hope Colborn doesn't go so hard on her. That's it about the fourth episode of Sanditon Season 3. We believe the next episode will see an increase in tension. Until next Sunday, please share with us your thoughts on episode 4. How do you like the season so far? What will happen in the next episode? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you soon!